What's going on guys? So I am very excited to be able to bring you this video because it is one of the most exciting games I have played all year. Like it is an absolutely amazing game and it's a wager match as well. I don't do many of these but I want to start doing more of them. Uh, as I start playing with so if you want to wager, hit me up on Twitter or on Instagram. Instagram is probably the best way to get a hold of me, at BrettBQB. If you guys don't know, please go follow that. Quick shout out to my Instagram. I want more followers. Uh, go, so go check me out on Instagram. Uh, but I'm playing one of my subscribers right now. He said, I, I talked to him like a long time ago, and he uh, he messaged me immediately after I asked for a wager match, and he was in, and he, he paid up front. So if you want to play, I'm, I... I Pretty much want you to pay up front. Back when I used to do these in like Madden 12, I used to get welched all the time. Like people would just stop and not pay. It's kind of a waste of time, especially because I like, I kind of have a reputation of being like I'm not the type of guy who would ever welch or like screw you over. So like if if we want to do a wager match, you pretty much have to pay up front unless you're like a pretty well known guy. Uh, but let's get right into this video. I score a touchdown right off the bat. In my mutt team, I got Tyrod the God Taylor. And if you guys don't know the story of Tyrod Taylor and me, let me just explain. In every single connected franchise I have ever played, I always get Tyrod. I call him Tyrod the God because he's like the best. Where I always trade to the Ravens, or or now to, now it would be the Bills. It was always the Ravens though, and I'd always get Tyrod Taylor. And everyone would always laugh at me because he would never be a go good quarterback. So in this last league, actually, uh, I took a team. I took the Titans with Tyrod Taylor to the conference championship. We ended up losing. But that, he's just my favorite quarterback ever. I don't know how much I'm going to use him in this game because I got Mariota too, and that is tough to stay away from. Uh, there's a beautiful pick with Tyron Matthew. He tried to go over top to Odell Beckham Jr., and I was not about to let that happen. Uh, but as I was saying about Tyrod Taylor, he is a stud, and he's my favorite Madden quarterback. I remember my my like, my like picture on, uh, I don't know if it was, tw it might have been Twitter for a while. It was a picture of Tyrod Taylor's jersey, and now to see him actually doing good in real life uh, and Madden is pretty exciting. Uh, so I, I went and got him in. I got him in a pack, actually. If you look at the video before this, I do pull him in a pack. He's gone now. Uh, I sold him as soon as the game was over to get Mariota. Uh, but I love Tyrod. I love Tyrod. He's a god. That's all I got, all I got to say. And let's talk a little bit about the Titans game um, when uh, this weekend. So we, we play the Browns, and I think we're going to win this game. Titans are looking pretty good. They're looking pretty solid. Uh, I don't, I'm going to save my thoughts on that for a little bit later. So, but, like, okay. So here... He's driving. He, just, he can play. I noticed that immediately that this guy got juke moves. I pride myself on the ability to be able to just juke people out. Like that's one of the things I'm best at. In the, like if you get me an open space in this game, I'm probably gonna score a touchdown because I have the juke figured out. This guy's got LaShawn McCoy and he knows how to use that right stick like nobody else does there. I should have had a pick. I do not know what happened here. And fourth and nine. There's a lot of fourth down conversions. And I leave that guy wide open. I don't know if I messed up and I <laughs> And I took a guy out of a man situation, or what happened there. Uh, but that was a huge mistake on my part. And he converts. So he has a chance to score in the third quarter in there. That's the juke move I'm talking about. He has a very, very good one. And I was I was quite impressed with this guy. When we were uh, when we were talking beforehand, he was a little bit nervous about playing. He's like, oh, I'm going to get killed and stuff. But when people say they're going to get killed, when people say they suck, in my experience, it means they're pretty good. Especially in wager matches. If a guy admits, like, agrees to go 30k, like... Up front, you know he's got to be pretty good. He's not going to be a bad player. You're not going to get the game and immediately bet 30k on to someone like that. No, that's just that is not going to happen. Uh, so here we are in the end of the third quarter, and he gets another field goal to make the game 7-6. And I have to score here. I have no choice. I don't want to give his offense the ball back because his O line was playing absolutely phenomenal. His running backs had room all game to get an open space, and McCoy was just making guys miss. So I really did not want to give him another shot at uh, at scoring or, quite frankly, anything. Uh, so it's third and twelve here, and I gotta convert. And just watch this. This is why. This is why. I, this is where the name comes from. I just said this is like four thousand times. It's late here. Uh, I probably shouldn't be, be doing a commentary right now because my voice is just not sounding very smart. But whatever it is, what it is. I wanted to bring you guys a video. Uh, so I got that huge run with Tyrod Taylor. So clutch on third and 12. And then check this out. That's a pass interference call. If you're like, how? How is that PI? So now he's got a shot. All he needs to do is score and get the two-point conversion. And he can send this game to overtime, which would make it quite interesting. Because I did not want to lose 30K. I was not about I worked hard for my coins. I'm not someone. I did not want to lose 30K. When I play wager matches, I am intense. I turn the mic off. I turn the game volume off. Actually, I sometimes have the game volume on because it helps me a little bit. But I like I don't talk. I just talk to myself. I have this weird thing where when I'm playing a game, I talk to myself. But here, he scores. He gets super clutch. I run commit because I thought for sure he was going. And then he gets the two point conversion. Unfortunately, I was like I was pretty sad. And it just gets worse when he wins the toss and he just starts giving the ball back to LaShawn McCoy. And that 
was driving me absolutely crazy. So you'll see he starts driving down here and it's a very, very exciting finish and you're going to want to watch this whole video because it turns out to be pretty crazy. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please drop a like and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. That's right. I have grousel with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. That's bad. Only last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. Bad dude. Bad. Fast. 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 Last night, I cut the light off in my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. Incredible. Fast. Incredible. And you, George Fullman, all of you chumps are going to bow when I whoop him. All of you. I know you got him. I know you got him picked. But the man's in trouble. I'm going to show you how great I am.